The problem relating to mail in the Philippines, the first thing is if you send money, it will disappear, guaranteed. Um, if you send postcards, postcards disappear for some reason. I think people collect them, you know, for different places in the world and stuff and take them home. I don't know why. Um, the other problems you get is what I find the system seems to have got lazier in the last few years. But they will have parcels for you and won't deliver them. So you have to call up the post office and ask them if they got something for you. And then when they go, oh, yeah, it's been sat here for two weeks. We just couldn't be bothered to contact you and let you know or even bother to deliver it. Um, you go there and there's duty on stuff. There's a lot of charges going on things that weren't there before. You go there and you pay like 40 pesos um, for a letter, you know, for tax or whatever. It's just theft. I mean, it's corruption. There's no other answer for it. UK is the same. If, you know, if you get stuff from America, I find that you're more likely to get some stupid charges on something from America, while something from Hong Kong doesn't even get noticed. You could have like a £3,000 camera come from Hong Kong and it doesn't get flagged. But you can have a trinket from the US and then the UK goes, oh, it's worth 80 quid. I have to pay 20 quid customs charges for importation. It's blatant theft to me. I'm not being funny. I don't see why we charge such an excessive amount. But in the Philippines, it's even for letters. I've had it a couple of times for letters, um, where it's done centrally. It's obviously done in Manila, and then it's on the on the actual letter that was tax due, which is why they don't deliver them. Um, but at the same time, they don't tell you the, that they're sat there either. So it doesn't matter if it's a parcel or a letter. It's, they just it's sit there. Um, it's got worse in the last few years. The other side of this being, precious items can often disappear. I know somebody mentioned about the tracking items. Sometimes when items are tracked, they can vanish. Um, with DHL and the bigger companies, you should still be able to track them, but also you've got insurance with them. Um, it's why people spend the extra money with these companies rather than the local stuff where it can vanish and can get damaged, etc. And then they go, nothing to do with me, go. So when you're sending stuff to the Philippines, be aware there's a good chance they'll go missing. There's videos even on YouTube of customs officials taking mobile phones and things out of boxes and pocketing them for themselves. The ballot buying box issues um, where there has been a lot of publicity about the customs, the way they've been treating the boxes, but also they've been stealing items out of it. Um, now, I know when I was sending stuff a few years back out of London, the new thing for the Philippines was plasma TVs. So every TV, there was a 2,000 pesos agreement, obviously a corruption agreement, uh, when they were imported. When they found them in the boxes, they just gave them the 2,000 pesos. And then they just looked the other way. Um, pretty much that's how the customs works in the Philippines. Um, it won't change, it's not going to change without a real government change and a government that's going to go right the way through the corruption. That's unlikely to ever happen in the Philippines. There's too many people making money from it. So be aware, mail can disappear and often does. Um, best way to get stuff to the Philippines is get somebody traveling back to take it with them. Um, but obviously make them aware of the item and let them see it before you wrap it etc because I wouldn't carry somebody's luggage these days <laughs> uh, I'd want to know 100% that there was no issue with something um, before I take something um, back to, to the UK or to the Philippines because I brought bags back to the UK for somebody as well before um, a gift for his relatives uh, it's like basically just threw them in the uh, post box once I got back so, yeah, be aware. Um, if you're sending money, can go missing. Send postcards, they always go missing. Delivery times take longer going to the Philippines than coming out. You know, I don't know why. I don't know why the system's so bad. But at the same time, internally, it's not too bad. If I order something in Manila for Cebu, I can actually even go to the port and pick it up. 
you know, within a couple of days. <coughs> I couldn't even do it overnight. But stuff going international seems to be where all the headaches are. All right, thanks for watching.